What's up guys, Old Stuff and Fluff here. Today we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program, and we're only going to be doing it for a few minutes because frankly yesterday was my sister's birthday, and I don't think she's ever tried this game, and I think it looks cool. So, sis, this one goes out to you. So here we are in Kerbal Space Program. This is our Kerbal Space Center. There we go. See, it's right next to the water, so when the, the big boom booms go boom, if something goes wrong, they crash down the water. Here's our little astronaut complex. And there's the list of Kerbals. Here's, of course, our most famous Kerbals of all, if you ever played this game, Jebediah Kerman, Bill, Bob, Valentina. Those are our go-tos. Now, here's what we're going to do. Um, like I said, I'm just making this video to show this to my sister, and I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to play for a few minutes, and we're going to see what happens. I'll take it back. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll edit it. If it ends up being slightly too long, I think I'll just cut some chunks out of it, but that'll be about it. All right, so here we are in the Vehicle Assembly Building. There's my flag. Little monkey in an army helmet. There's a bunch of Kerbals running around the ground, so we're going to build uh, some kind of rudimentary rocket. I, ooh, I know. We'll use this guy. So that's our command module. That's what our Kerbals are going to go in. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to find a parachute to put on top of it. There we are. Now, no command module is complete without a heat shield, so I'm going to find the right size one. I'm going to put it on the bottom. There, here we go. Um, let's see, decouplers. You know what? I'm just going to design this thing, and we're going to fast forward. All right, sis. I think we're about ready. My boom boom rocket is ready to go. So I've got here, command module here. We've got the upper stage here. That's going to be used to put the Kerbals into orbit. And this is the lower stage. This is just going to be used to blast the Kerbals up into space. Put some fins on the bottom for control. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, where's some towers? Tower, 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 tower. There we go. I'm going to put some towers on the side for stability during takeoff. Bam. And if anybody was able to hear all that noise a moment ago, that was because it was pouring rain outside, which seems to have stopped. And currently I have my dog perched on my shoulder while I'm doing this because she gets easily scared when it's raining. Okay, moving on. These are the Kerbals we're going to put in here. We're going to have Jebediah be the pilot. Bill Kerman is going to be our ship's engineer. And Bob Kerbin is going to be our scientist. And without further ado, we're going to skip action groups right now. I think we're ready to go. Let's try this. Any moment now. Okay, here we go. Here's our rocket. It's on our nice launch pad. Our boys are ready to go. And here we go. Oh yeah. Start turning a little bit to the east. We want to get a nice good orbit. Switch over here so I can see what my apparatus is currently. He's off on the throttle a little bit for now until it gets more altitude. It's actually a little bit too much. Basically, all you got to do is hit throttle up completely and then let it rip. This game can be played where you take it real seriously or you just hit the button and make it go boom and everything's fine. Okay, right now our, our courageous Kerbal Knots are almost to space. I think it's time to separate stage one from stage two. Here we go. Boom. There we go. See that big old engine sticking out the back? All right. Now it's time to achieve orbit. Oh, look how stoic they are. Usually these guys are either freaking out or or all happy and grinning. Seems like right now they don't care what's happening in the slightest. See them down here looking around. Oh, yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside of my pod. Here we go. It's shaking. It's, it's shaking. Ah. Our, our dauntless cripple knots, they're taking their jobs very seriously right now.
All right, looks like we've just reached the top of our little arc. This is what it looks like on the map. Yeah, that AP point there, the apoapsis, that's as high as we're going right now, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, wait, maybe we won't. <laughs> Better get a little, little bit of an angle here to the horizon. Right? That should help out. Oh, Bob looks happy now. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Here it comes. And boom. Orbit. 73 kilometers by 83 kilometers. Huzzah! Oh, wow, look, they're still so stoic. Tell you what, let's take a look. I've, I actually just found out that we can do this the other day. Look at this. Hit this little overlay, and now I can see inside the cockpit. There's my little Kerbals just sitting around in there doing their thing. Looks like they got some uh, fuel canisters and batteries right underneath their feet. Otherwise, they're just sitting in there, chilling out right now. So now I think it's time to get one of them to walk around outside. So who's it going to be? How about you, Bill? Ah, uh, look at him. Gazing into the wonders. It's baseball time. Ah, he's floating away. Well, don't go too far, Bill. So he is drifting around. Now, not only in this game... Like, I usually play career mode. <clears throat> but a lot of people find that a little too tedious. They just like building the rockets and making them go boom and just screwing around and seeing what weird designs they can come up with. The thing I put up today is like one of the most basic designs out there you could do. It's just two stages, both very powerful engines. It was fine. <laughs> There's some great YouTube videos of people making these ridiculous-looking rockets <laughs> that twirl around like a firecracker when they go up. That's when the Kerbals really uh, start going nuts. They seem to, to like getting flung all over the place. He, even Bill here looks like he's a little bit happy just to be standing outside the, the cockpit and floating around in space. These guys love space. All right, Bill, you back in? There you go. Now everybody's stoic again. I've given them a very, very boring mission for the day. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to give them a, one little loop around the planet. Do, 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 do. Oh, and uh, this isn't the only planet you can go to. The, you've got the moon over here, or the MUN, as they call it in Kerbal Space Program. This planet, which is called Kerbin, has a second moon, which is much smaller, and it's called Minmus, and it looks like, like mint ice cream is what it looks like. And then, of course, you have a whole solar system to explore got their version of Mercury, their version of Venus, their mer version of Mars, and then outer planets. Most of these things have their own moons that you can explore too. You can build like little space stations and outposts on the planets by landing on them. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. I'm guessing these are asteroids that you can go to and mine for fuel or if you want to do missions or just out of curiosity, just something to do to mess around. So yeah, there's plenty to do in this game. And they actually have a sequel coming out where you can build colonies in space that uh, are self-sustaining and go to other star systems. Pretty cool. But let's see, where was I? Right now, I was just going to show you how they, they come back in for a landing. All right, so where are we? It's right about here is the good spot to do this. Floating above the deserts. So we're going to find our, whoops, not that way. We're going to find our retrograde point. There it is. It's the yellow mark with the little cross in it. Going to engage my stability assist, which is basically Jebediah, our pilot. He's going to keep the craft pointing in the right direction. And fire engines. Boom. I think that should do it. <laughs> One little extra oomph. Okay, boys, let's get ready to go home. Whee! 
Oh, they like that. Look at them. They're all happy now. <laughs> Big old grins. Yeah, you like it when the craft goes flying. Ah, ah. I think they'd be puking by now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Bob. Bill got to go out last time. You wanted to do the much more dangerous stepping outside while you're within the atmosphere? Whee! Look at Bob. He is absolutely fearless. Oh, apparently, uh, since I set this to sandbox mode, there's no science to do. That's what I usually do. I do all the experiments and collect science. But I guess there's not really any point to that now. I've already unlocked the entire research tree, so I can build whatever I want. All right, boys. Let's get a little further down, shall we? We're at 66 kilometers. Huh. I thought I had picked a spot that was way too low. It looks like I may have picked a spot that was way too high. All right. This little area where we're coming up here, I know this one just when I'm playing this game a lot. That's where we took off, right up there. We're about to fly over a Kerbal, Kerbal, uh, what was it called? The Kerbal Space Center. Yeah, it's like the Johnson Space Center or the Kennedy Space Center. You just sort of make it out in the background there. You might not, oh yeah, there we go. Put it against the back. You can see the heat shield that I put on. It's starting to glow red from where it's hitting the atmosphere. Let's get a little further down. All yeah, right. Oh yeah, you can see the little runway down there. That was right next to where we took off. Yeah, so this will work out well. This craft is going to slow down and splash down the ocean out there, not too far away from where we took off, so that's good. Our fearless Kerbal Knots will not have to wait too long bobbing up and down the water before somebody comes to rescue them. That'd be fun if they had, like, uh, the relief boats in this. You can take the relief boats out there and pull the smelly Kerbals out of their smelly spacecraft. <laughs> That's one of the things that never made it on the news way back in the days of Apollo was just how smelly the insides of those spacecraft got after, like, two or three guys were stuck in them for a week straight without bathing and having to go to the bathroom and so on and so forth. NASA kept that part out of the, uh, <laughs> out of the public relations releases. Oh yeah, this is a good time. Let's see how our, let's see what our boys are thinking of in here. Ooh, fire, fire bad. What you guys think? Oh look, he's smiling this time. Ooh, they they like fire. Oh yeah. I don't know which one that is, but he's ecstatic. <laughs> they all look mildly amused by this. So if you can read this, you're too close. Fifteen G's there. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. All right, all right, enough. Did not fare so well, so we're gonna dump it. Boom. Splash. Yay! Oh, they seem a little worried now. Guess they like space. They just don't like being in the water that much. All right, boys. Good job. Time to come home. Okay, sis. Here we go. Oh, wait. Before we go, I've not actually looked inside this thing before. This is supposed to be the Kerbal Space Program version of the the LEM, the Lunar Excursion Module. Mm-hmm. 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 
you know, that, that's what the lunar excursion module basically looks like on the inside. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's, that's fine. I put a fairing over it so it'll be protected on the way up. Now, let's find out what the rest of these do. I've never actually used these other types of rockets. Valentina? Actually, let's turn this part off. And boom, main rocket, go. And side rockets. Let's see if we can get this thing to start twirling. Go. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Look at that torque. I was actually expecting it to have a little more torque than that. <laughs> oh wow, the solid fuel is really holding up this thing. Is there any way we can go this side? I can't turn these off. These are solid fuel boosters. Once we ignite them, it's like a firecracker going off. It's not, you can't stop it. <laughs> Just gotta wait. Oh. Now it's going to start to a little bit faster, I think. Let's see, will it? Will it? Maybe. Mm. I think it was the air resistance for slowing it down. How you guys doing in here? You alright? Uh-oh. My fairings are overheating. It's time to blow. Bammo. There we go. Problem solved. Oh wow, that rocket's starting to glow red too. <laughs> Bill lost consciousness. Uh, Valentina stayed awake. She almost lost consciousness. Oh my gosh. 3,000 meters a second straight up. Ah, oh, look. That's the apoapsis right there. It almost went all the way to the moon on that one. We'd put any more Delta V into that. We'd probably be flying out of the entire Kerbal system by now. Oh, that thing's really glowing. Look at that. Whoops. I, I didn't really mean to do that. Hey. Hey. What's the story? Isn't there like a an automatic uh, detach thing on the lunar excursion module? Mm, apparently not. All right, well, this is going to be a rough landing, boys. Boys and girls. Come on. Come on. I would like to time compress, please. What the? I accidentally switched back to Kerbin. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I am pretty sure they're going to die. They died. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, it's okay. This is sandbox mode. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> All right, what happened? Everything was crushed due to overpressurization. You know what? That's fair. I had that one coming. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Leave the tracking station. Okay, so I accidentally just killed Valentina and Bill? Was it Bill? Yeah, I think it was Bill. But don't worry, this is sandbox mode. They're fine. They are missing in action. They'll reappear in a few hours. <laughs> so, there you go, sis. That's Kerbal Space Program in a nutshell. You can blast rockets off. You can design neat stuff. You can land on moons and other planets you can build space stations your kerbals can float around and they can do science and find stuff and perform missions and get all excited about being space voyagers so it's a lot of fun but that's it for me that's it for everybody else sorry i haven't posted any videos in a couple of months i've been real busy with work and school so maybe soon maybe soon but for now this is old stuff and fluff signing off <laughs>